right, so here's the English lightweight hopeful Mark Chikese. He was 12-0 before running into Tracar Close back in 2017. Big win over Joe Duffy in 2019, and a lot of people think eventually Chikese is going to find his way into that top 15. As Chikese has tried to make his way into the top 15, he has had to shore up some of the holes in this game. As you saw in the close fight, he had a lot of difficulty clearing the clinch position, was not able to get back to the center where he can use his striking advantage. This guy is a very well-rounded kickboxer, has a background in Muay Thai, but was not able to use any of that in the fight against Jakar Close, and it showed because he didn't get his hand raised. But when he went back against Joe Duffy, you saw the improvement. You saw how he had identified the weaknesses and started to work on him, and it led to him getting his hand raised. And I got to think of a video game setting. Pretty fun guy to play with. Mark Jacasey ready to go here tonight. should be interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. I know you, as a high-level wrestler and Olympian yourself, are always curious to see guys who wrestled collegially on this level now apply their trade to UFC. You know, you look at this guy and you think about his past, you think about his background, how he has been trained from his youth to be here. Even though he understood he wanted to be a mixed martial artist, his dad knew that he had to wrestle. And that wrestling took him to college and it leads him to the UFC. That is why you see him approach fights the way that he does. He's been embedded in this kid. And if he can continue to evolve his entire mixed martial arts game to match his wrestling level, he's held on wheels. He's shown that to this point. And one thing he has focused on is being more active when he does get the fight to the ground. So perhaps we'll see an uptick in the ground and pound here tonight as this high-level wrestler gets back to work. Right, both fighters have entered the octagon. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here's Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now we're going to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner, Josh Cece Emmett. The veteran Herbert Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so as we get this stand-up only fight underway, just a quick reminder on the rule set, no grappling or wrestling of any type, and fighters also cannot follow up with ground strikes on the canvas. So if you knock your opponent down, you cannot follow up with strikes. Very important to point that out here at the beginning of round one. Oh, nice hook by Jacasey. So we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going. These guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Man, what a fight. Emmett gets lit up by that straight punch. Lands a jab. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now he's going to He's affected the straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. He looked for that knee. That's some power there. 
shots. Ooh, big shot land. All right, so perhaps he's going to... Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Jacason. Big right hand. Oh, huge left. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough to even be on his feet right now. Oh, nice right hand. Big right hand there. There's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That's previous round. I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking home the $50,000. Uh. They laid it all on the line. They dropped it. Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. That uppercut will work. Time man has his chin been tested early. Power shots continue to land. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Straight punch there by Emmett. But that punch no good. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Circling to his right. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain. Hurt again. Just out of range with that right hand. Back to his feet.
All right, let's get it inside to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is calling a stop to this contest at three minutes, 38 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mark Bonecrusher, the Akase. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and handily knocking another man out. Yeah, you set a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful.